You can use a lever to find out the weight of something. Let's say I have a weight in the lever, I don't know what it is, but I know it's five centimeters away from the pivot, um, and on the right, well, I've got five centimeters and I've got a known weight, in this case, 20 newtons. I can work out the one on the right here, that's not too bad, because that's just 20 times five. The one on the left, it's five centimeters away, but I don't know what F is, so I'm just gonna leave that as F, as I don't know what it is yet. So you could just look at that one below and you could probably figure out, if you've got a good eye for symmetry, you could probably think, well, surely it's gotta be 20, right? Because on the right it's 20. In this case, yes, you could actually just guess that is 20. And you'd be right, it is 20, because they're both five centimeters in the middle. They won't always be like that. So just for practice, we'll go through the maths. Because if you can do a maths and a simple one, you can do a complicated one. What you do is you divide both sides by five. The reason for that is, right now it's five times F. To undo that times, the sworn enemy I would say of multiplication is division. It's evil twin. So what you do is you divide both sides by five and that will help get rid of five because it'll cancel it out like this. You just, uh, you get that five, you cancel it out, it explodes, and you're left with F. And F is equal to 100 divided by five. 100 divided by five, how many times does five go to 100? It goes 20, but you already knew that anyway. Um, and that is 20 newtons. Careful, not newton centimeters, because we're just figuring out the weight this time. Okay, let's do another one. So, um, this time, uh, it's two centimeters away, whatever that weight is. Um, and on the right, it's three times six. So that's gonna be 18. Okay, um, so it's two times F is equal to 18. So two times something. Uh, I did this a slightly different way. This is how my brain works. Rather than dividing both sides, I just think, well, I can get that two. I can sort of just move it under here. I'm doing the same thing as dividing both sides by two. I'm just do, I just do it this way in my head. But if you want to divide by two, uh, both sides, you can do that. Now, uh, so F is 18 divided by two, and uh, 18 divided by two, of course, is nine. So it's nine newtons is the answer. Okay, let's do one more. Um, this time I've got six centimeters to the pivot. I get an unknown weight. I've got 10 times three in the right. Uh, so it's six F equals 30. And again, I'm gonna do it my quick way in my head. I'm gonna get that six. I'm gonna bring it under there. 30 divided by six is five newtons. And that's it. So then you can work out an unknown weight. And um, yeah, we're all done. You can stop messing around and just go home.